Hi guys, welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, since malapit na yung MTAP, yung match, uh, I mean yung Metro Bank Match Challenge sa January na yun, so balik na tayo sa Match Challenge playlist natin. So for today, ang sasagutan natin is the, yung kalahate ng 2018 Match Challenge for Grade 6, mga Lodi, lalo na sa mga elementary people natin dyan. So let's uh, prepare na kasi malapit na. If you're aiming for much higher na position or mas magandang ranking, so early preparation will help you mga Lodi. Okay? So, sagutan natin, these are the first half, the first 25 problems, mga Lodi, ng uh, Math Challenge 2018 for grade 6. Okay, number 1, what is the sum of the first 5 prime numbers? Ano ba yung first 5 prime numbers? That's 2, plus 3, plus 5, plus 7, plus 11. So, kapag in natin, mga Lodi, that is 28. So, yun na po yung unang tanong natin. Number 2, what is the largest value of n? So, the 326N38 is less than 326438. Anong gagawin natin dyan? Tingnan natin ano yung parehas. Lahat parehas. Pero ito lang yung pinagkaiba, yung hundreds digit. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, tingnan natin, N should be less than 4. Kasi sila lang naman yung magkaiba. Anong hinahanap? Largest. Therefore, ano yung pinakamalaking number before 4? That is 3. Yun na yung pinakamalaki na less than Okay? Number 3. What number should be subtracted with 17 to get 44? So, analyze natin maigi. What number should be subtracted with? So, ibig sabihin, yung number natin, minus 17, that is equal to 44. So, we will do backward. So, add lang natin. 44 plus 17, therefore, our number is 61. Okay? Next, number 4. Simplify. 3 multiplied by 5 times 6 minus 3 plus 2. So, we will use PEMDAS. Mga Lodi, simulan muna natin sa inner. So, 5. 6 minus 3, that is 3 plus 2. So, this will become 3 times 15 plus 2. Inner ulit, that is 3 times 17. Therefore, ano ang final answer, mga Lodi? 51. Okay? Number 5. In 237 million, in 237 million, 428,835, how many 10,000s are there? So, ilan daw yung 10,000s mga Lodi? Ilan ba ang zero ng 10,000s? That is apat. Ang gagawin nyo lang mga Lodi, mag-move lang kayo ng apat dito. So, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, then disregard this. The correct answer is 23,742. 10,000. Kunyari, 100,000. Lima yung zero nun. Mag-move ka lang ng lima decimal place to the left. Tapos, i-disregard mo na yung mga uh, decimal nun. Yun na yung magiging bilang ng 100,000 more 10,000. Depende dun sa tanong. Number 6. Using the digits 4, 7, 2, and 5 exactly once. Isang beses lang natin gagamitin. What is the smallest number that you can form? So, para ma-form natin yung pinaka-smallest, We will start with the digit that is yung pinaka smallest dun sa apat. So that is two. Ano next smallest four? Next smallest five? Next smallest seven? Therefore, the correct answer is two four five seven. Kapag largest naman mga lodi, simula sa largest seven five four two. Okay. Number seven. Complete the number sentence. Thirty two plus blank equals eighty. So i reverse lang natin backward solving. So, magiging 80 minus 32, yan yung magiging blank natin. Therefore, the correct answer is 48. Okay, number 8. What is the place value of the underlined digit? 40,025, ito yung naka-underline. Once, tens, hundreds, thousands. Therefore, the correct answer is thousands. No? Ganun lang siya mga Lodi. So, medyo quickie lang to kasi alam ko naman na yung mga matlits natin, marami nang alam. So, I mean, lalo, I mean, Uh, sagutan lang natin for the sake dun sa mga medyo may mga hindi pa ganun ka-sure dun sa mga answers. At saka matulungan din natin yung mga math tips natin. Number 9, how many 20,000s make a 500,000? So, ilan daw na 20,000 yan mga Lodi? So, kung ilang 20,000, that is, i-divide lang natin. Anong technique dyan? Huwag ka na mag-long division. Tanggalin mo na lang yung common zeros. Apat, apat, 50 divided by 2. Correct. That is 25. So, yun yung magiging sagot natin. Okay? Next, number 
excuse me. Number 10. Yung number 10 natin mga Lodi, what is the largest two digit number whose once digit is twice its tens digit? So yung once daw, twice ng tens digit. Ng tens. Twice of the tens digit. So anong gagawin natin dyan? I-solve mo lahat. So yung once, that is yung pangalawa, twice yan ng tens digit. So ang pinaka starting natin, 12. 24. 36. Ita times to mo lang tong tens para mako may ones. Tapos 48 ang hinahanap largest therefore 48. Number 11. A factory manufactured 84,445 toy cars in October. Tapos 175,341 in November. At the end of December, 672 were left. Toy cars were left. How many toy cars were sold? So, ang gagawin lang natin dyan, mga Lodi, hinahanap ilan yung nasold. E di, i-add lang natin yung total ng October tsaka November. Then, i-minus natin dun sa natira para alam natin kung ilan yung nabenta. So, i-add natin yung 175,341 at yung 84,000 455 So, add lang natin maigi 6, 9, 7, 9, 5, Then, itong 259,796 I-minus natin dito So, magiging 259,796 Be careful with the given, mga Lodi Minus 672 Therefore, ang sagot is 259,124 Toy cars yung na benta natin Okay? So, ganun lang, mga Lodi. Number 12. What is the GCF of 96 and 144? So, ang alam ko, ginagawa nyo dito, continuous division, di ba? Pero, ituturo ko sa inyo, mga Lodi, yung prime factorization lang. So, feeling ko naman, kaya nyo naman gawin ito na mabilisan. Yung 96 is equal to 32 times 3. So, di ba? 32 times 3 yan. So, magiging 2 to the 5 times 3. So, ituturo ko sa inyo yung prime factorization ng, I mean, gagamitin natin yun for GCF. How about 144? Ang 144, so medyo mabilis lang tayo mag-factor, pero kayang-kaya nyo rin yan. Ang 144 is 16 times 9. So, that is 16 times 9. That is equivalent to 2 to the 4 times 3 squared. Ano ba pag GCF? Kapag GCF mga Lodi, take note, dapat that is the lowest exponent. Tingnan natin, ano ba yung lowest exponent ng mga common prime factorization natin. So, ano yung common ng two natin? So, 2 and 3. Anong lowest ng 2 na exponent? 4 or 5? Siyempre, 4. So, that is 2 to the 4. Times, anong lowest ng 3? So, this understood as 1. So, 3 raised to 1. Yun yung pinaka lowest natin. Pag sinod mo, 16 times 3. Therefore, the GCF is 48. Kapag LCM, tingnan mo yung highest exponent. Okay? Nagdami yan, ha? Matli. Number 13. What is the LCD of the fractions 5 over 9, 7 over 12, tsaka 3 over 8? So, LCD lang, ang LCD ng 9, ng 12, tsaka ng 8. So, kagaya ng tinuro ko, highest exponent, this is 3 squared, this is 2 squared times 3 raised to 1, this is 2 cubed. Ano yung highest ng 2? So, ang LCD natin will be 2 cubed, yung highest exponent, ano sa 3? 3 squared. So, that is equal to... 8 times 9, therefore, the correct answer is 72. Okay? Next problem, number 14. Okay, number 14, mga Lodi. Number 14, express 4 and 5, 6 as an improper fraction. So, this is basically a routinary question for our grade 6 students. Just multiply yung denominator by the whole number, then i-add natin yung numerator. 4 times 6, 24 plus 5. Therefore, that is 29 over 6. Number 15. Uh, express 2.4 as a mixed fraction. So, gagawin natin mixed fraction. Alam natin na ang 0.4 is 4 over 10. Diba? So, that is equivalent to 2 over 5. Eh, meron tayong 2. Therefore, in terms of mix, that is 2 and 2 fifths. Number 16, find the sum of 0.25 and 3 over 5. So, much better if we will do this as decimal kasi mas madali siya i-convert. Pwedeng fraction, pero since hindi naman in-state kung ano yung form ng sagot, pwede nating i-stick sa decimal. 
That is 0.25. Ano ang 3 over 5? That is 0.6. Therefore, the correct answer is 0.85. Or kapag kinonvert natin sa fraction, that is 17 over 20. It's either of the two mga lodi. So, dapat i-consider yan. Since wala namang sinabi na express your final answer as decimal or fraction. Number 17. When one-fourth is added to another fraction, nag-add daw tayo ng one-fourth sa isang fraction, the result is 5 eighths. So, di backward lang. What is the other fraction? I-minus natin. 5 over 8 minus one-fourth. Since they are dissimilar, get the LCD. That is 8. 5 minus 8 divide 4. That's 2 times 1, 2. Therefore, the correct answer is 3 over 8. Number 18. 6 pupils bought 5 cookies each. So, 6 pupils, merong 5 cookies each. So, times natin sa 5. Therefore, that is 30 cookies na binili nila lahat. Ang sinabi, if they gave away half of the cookies, binigay nila yung kalahati nito, ilan yung natira sa kanila? Siyempre, kalahati pa rin. That is 30 times 1 half. Therefore, 15 cookies left. Number 19. I am thinking of a number. One-fourth of my number plus 10 equals 16. What is my number? So, reverse lang mga Lodi. 16 minus 10, that is 6 times 4. Therefore, my number is 24. Okay? Number 20 na tayo mga Lodi. Number 20. Kunti na lang mga Lodi. So, medyo fast pace tayo kasi nga, alam ko na yung mga matlits natin, mga magagaling na yan. So, guidance na lang yung kulang at saka yung practice. Number 20, what is one more than twice the sum of 5 and 6? So, analyze maigi yung pagkakonstruct ha. What is one more than the, twice the sum of 5 and 6? Eh, pag more than talaga kasi mga lodi, pangalawa dapat yun. O kaya kapag less than, pangalawa yun. So, parang ganito dapat yung proper representation niya. What is 1 more than twice the sum of 5 and 6? That is 2 times 5 plus 6 plus 1. So, that is 2 times 11 plus 1. That is 23. Number 21. Which of the following numbers has the greatest value? 15%, 0.1, 3 over 25. I-convert natin lahat sa decimal mas madali. 0.15, 0.10, Ang 3 over 25, kapag yun ang birth, that is 0 0.12. So, which one is the, uh, ano hinanap, greatest value? So, ano pinakamalaki sa kanila? Eto. Pero, wag mo isasagot yung 0.15. You must answer the original given. 15%. Ginawa lang natin yung conversion para maging isang form lang sila. Unique, uh, unity yan, mga lodi. I mean, uh, pare-pare sila ng format. Para makita natin ano yung pinakamalaki, ano yung pinakamaliit. So, same lang question sa 22, pero, I mean, ang binigay lang, ano naman yung pinakamaliit? So, that is 0 0.1. So, ito yung smallest. Ito yung largest. Okay, number 23. Last 3, mga Lodi. 23. 15 is 10% of what number? So, this is the basic... Uh, uh, yung percentage base rate natin. So, di ba, gawa tayong triangle dun sa mga nalilito. Ito yung percentage, ito yung base, ito yung rate. 15 is, the keyword is is for our percentage. Over. So, gawa ka ng triangle. Ano yung base natin? Hindi natin alam. Kasi of what? The keyword is of. Yun yung pinakaginagamit natin for ano. Hindi natin alam to. Ano yung percent natin? 10%. So, ibig sabihin, Ano daw yung number na kapag ginawa natin yung 10%, that is 15. So, alam natin na ang 10%, that is 10 over 100, or in lowest term, that is 1 over 10. So, 1 over 10 of what number is 15? So, di-divide lang natin. 15 divided by 1 over 10, that is 150. Okay? Number 24, mga Lodi. Okay, number 24. 0.25 divided by 0.2. So, you can divide this manually or you can use fraction. So, try natin yung una. Divide manually. 0.25 divide 0.20. Normally, we will move one decimal since may decimal tayo sa divisor natin. So, dito na yung magiging decimal natin. 2 divide 2, that is 1. 1 times 2, 2. So, that is uh, 0.5. Lagay tayo ng uh, 0 dito. So, 5 divided by 2, that is 2. 2 times 2, that's 40. So, that is 10. 
10 divided by 2, mga lodi, that is 5. 5 times 2, that is 10. Therefore, the correct answer is 1.25. Or in fraction, alam natin na ang 1.25, ang 0.25, that is 1 fourth. Ilan ang 0.2 in fraction? 1 fifth. That is equal to 1 over 4 times 5 over 1. That is 5 fourths or 1.25. Kung ano man yung isagot nyo mga Lodi, parehas tama dapat yan. Hindi pwedeng malian kasi wala namang sinabing form ng tamang sagot. Not unless in-specify yan. Kung fraction or decimal. Okay, last number mga Lodi, number 25. If a woman works 3 and a half hours per day, so 3 and a half hours per day daw siya, she can finish a work in 10 days. How many hours per day sh should she work to finish the same Piece of work in 7 days. So, tandaan natin mga Lodi yung ganito yung hours yung days. Inverse yan. ba mga Lodi? Tandaan natin ang relationship yan. Inverse. Kasi kung ilan yung oras, di syempre, mas ano na yun, magiging, mas mataas kung yung isa, mas mababa na yung magiging isa natin. So, ano mangyari yan? So, paano ba yung inverse? Inverse or yung indirect proportion? I-times mo lang muna yung unang binigay. So, that is 3 and a half times 10. That is equal to uh, 35, then i-divide natin dun sa pangalawa, 35 over 7, that is 5 hours. Okay? So, yun, mga Lodi, just in case may questions or clarifications, huwag kayo may magdanong. Maraming salamat po sa lahat ng nag-subscribe and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye mga Lodi, God bless.